There she goes, the last climb for me. New Holland Dozer, sold it. Sweet Pete here, nice rig. There she goes for the last time, up past the pole. See you later, New Holland. Some people like shoe shopping. Others like equipment shopping. Oh yeah. Big equipment yard here up in Albany. They got everything. Everything. Big Kubota dealer uh, and Kabelco dealer. They got cat. They got, I mean, they got everything. They got million off road trucks. But we are shopping today for dozers. As you know, I sold my dozer. And if you don't know, now you do know. So I'm looking for dozers. Uh, we'll go around this yard and take a quick, uh, take a quick peek and uh, see what we see. There we go. We got a 450J. Oh, Kamatsu. So let me give you a quick story. This is, I've I've owned three dozers, three or four dozers. I've had Cat, John Deere, New Holland. Yeah, so three. And uh, not Kamatsu, but I've made my decision that I do want to go with Kamatsu. Uh, just trying to find one. Was going to go with the 39PX. Uh, this one right here same deal lgp and uh that is the size of a d5 and 650 uh so i'm going with the bigger one i'm gonna go with a 51 i believe uh which is the size of a 700 deer it's just gonna bump it up a couple notches but let's take a ride around before we get out and see what else we could find here in this yard they got everything Everything. A lot of dozers. Got some D8s. There's a D6 there. There's a 700 deer. That's at the size of the Komatsu. That I'm looking at. Um, there's a 6 and a 61 PX Komatsu there. D6 LGP. Uh, there's another 6. And these are all six ends. LGP high tracks. There's another a newer six there. He does have eights. They must be out on rental. This is a rental yard. He rents and sells. Uh, there's a big boy right there. That's an SK500. I've actually, no, I didn't rent that. I rented a 350 a bunch of times with the hammer on it. I rent here if we run into a project I need. He's got mega off-road trucks. We'll just go through the whole yard, why not, right? This this part back here is more of the older stuff, uh, well, bigger stuff, but he's got a boneyard back here too. There's a nice high reach, brand new cat. There's a big cat there. Look at that bad boy. Wow. 336F. This is like a kid in a candy store right here for me. Kid in a candy store. Link belt 350. All right, we're back. And uh, nice Volvo there. We'll go through this area. Here's all. 
attachments, quick attaches, buckets, grapples. We got water trucks. Let me clean my, let me clean my window here. I don't know if it's uh, clean, but we got mega off-road trucks. More water trucks. Excavators on wheels. Deer 180, cat, got the Sandy. I've rented that machine. Kind of underpowered. I actually never ran into Volvo though. I've, uh, I'd be curious to, to match that up. Cause I've rented all the, a lot of Cabelcos and uh, the Sandy, the uh, New Hollands. Uh, what else I ran out of here? A Doosin one time. That was okay. Um, I had rented a cat with a hammer. I was excavating a pool and uh, it was all bedrock. We had to blow the whole bottom out. So here's a bunch of little Kubotas. This is an, these, this whole row is another whole row of excavators. They put them back to back. I've had this Kabelko with that hammer. I rented that. A little light that's uh, one, a 140, I believe. This is fun. There's a bunch of wheels, two wheel, three wheel excavators right there. Great for ro road work. I mean, they definitely make a difference for road work. Bunch of rollers on this side. You got smooth drum, we got pad foot. Mega equipment, man. Tons of wheeled excavators, huh? Tons and tons. We'll go down this end. Some smaller rollers here, some black top rollers, some black top there. These are all. These are all uh, dirt rollers. You can see the line of them right there. Let me roll down my window. Tons of buckets. Buckets for miles here. Just come with a tape measure, measure them up. They sell them. Tons of buckets. Some big rollers there. A lot of Kubota. And the list goes on, right? It's a big yard, so you definitely can find what you're looking for if you need to buy something, because like I said, they sell it also. You got your backhoe line down there, but we are interested, we'll work on our way out when we get to there. We gotta get back to the dozer aisle, because that's what we're here for. We wanna get in a couple. Anyways, see what we got, match them up. More Kubotas there, brand new, not even Use got light plants. Whole fleet of tractors. Massey Ferguson uh, authorized dealer also. Let's get back to the dozers. Let's get in this Komatsu. So this Komatsu's got the grading system. You see it there. Then your post bolt on here. Uh, that's sweet. That, that is sweet that's a big extra like big money extra when you go to buy a machine if you have that uh option on there it allows you to get the grade dead perfect just download the software all right i gotta jump over and get in this thing nice easy way to get in oh cab is sweet man so the visibility in these Komatsus is best in class by far because of the uh, tilt nose. The radiator's in the back, <clears throat> right, right behind us. The radiator's back there, so it gives you that nose to drop right off. And look, I mean, look at, this is the view right here. What you see is what I see. You can see the corners of your blades like nothing. Let's see what we got here.
a little puff it's about 30 uh, I don't know what temperature it is battery seemed a little weak on her she's uh 36 should have so nice model there on there huh all your controls here you got two safety levers here that gotta come up for this thing to go and there she goes there's the blade So turn the blade, just simple is simple, right here. Boom, boom, boom. This would be up, this would, or this would be down, this would be up. Tons of little buttons, auxiliary buttons. And this would be your, your gears. That's your four gears up and down. And this is how you go forward and reverse with that. So pretty nice. This is, I think this is a 15, this machine. This is a 15, but uh, I mean, nice wide tracks. Um, I mean, this machine would do me justice. Don't get me wrong; it's it's probably, it's a powerhouse. And but I just feel if I'm going to step up, I've been in that same class uh, for a couple, you know, few dozers now in the twenty thousand pound class. So the next class up would be uh, a thirty thousand, and that's you know. I'm going to start looking at those uh we'll go to a place in a little bit that i know has a 51 hopefully they have it in stock uh it's not on rental but uh we'll check that out this is a, a d39 px uh 23 i'll probably be looking at the 22 if i jump up in size because it's the year a couple years prior uh in like the 2010 to the, the, the uh, 13 then they switched over but uh, to the 23. So yeah, this machine is sweet though. I mean, you got your foot rest here. It's it, it, it's top of the line. I mean, like I said, look at look at the view out here uh, for the blades. You know what I mean? The corners. That's what that's where you do all your grading by looking at that little tab right down there. Um, it's just unbelievable. You don't see any nose. You know what I mean? You don't see any nose. And I love the way they offset that stack. The stack goes like this out there for a reason it lines directly up with that post so when you're standing in here look at you cannot see that stack now with the new holland had the stack here the cats the john deers they're all right there so there's a cat there with the stack right in your view so that is genius let's just compare to the cat now, this is only a d3 i could jump over in a d5 maybe i will in a minute but let's just see First thing I notice is I'm sitting back just like this. Where's the blade? <laughs> I mean, you got to look. It's tight to the machine. Yeah, this is a narrow. This ain't an LGP, so the blade's not as wide. I get that. But uh, look out front. What do I got? Oh, I got a stack right in my way. Now you're going like this to look around. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, similar controls, but nowhere near the cab nowhere's near the cab i mean my voice is echoing in here uh so you know if my voice who is that going in here what's the exhaust doing and the hydraulics under you it's gonna it's gonna hum in here like a hummingbird uh not like that Komatsu. you don't even hear it running so that's that <laughs> to be fair let's get in a comparable machine the d650 is the same size it's lgp as uh the last one as the kamatsu we can go in oh a little uncomfortable getting in there what do we see out front huge chrome stack looks nice if you want the bling but not for working and look at the nose of that machine all i see is a nose huge i can't see down in front of me if someone was standing there i can't see them giving me any kind of directions real bad visibility out on the track is nice gotta give them that but as far as aesthetics and comfort nothing like the komatsu not even close this is very harsh and you know everything just uh the way the windows open Ugh, they go up and down like this you know, nothing built like that Komatsu. 
nothing built. All right, guys, that was fun. Uh, let's head on over to that other yard, see if they got a 51. Yeah. So just on the way out. Some more equipment, some tractors. Here's a big boy. 700. It's got the counterweight off. It lifts its own counterweight up. Which I guess you gotta have that. Big boy. That's what they use in Gold Rush right there. Parker. Parker's running the 700. 350. There's a D6 LGP. Not for me. Long stick on the 300. All right, just pulling into the next yard. Next town over. This is a Komatsu dealership. Let's see, we got a PX39. 22. That's the size that we were just in, but that's not. Hopefully they got a 51. There's the, the weather's mild, so there's people are still renting dozers, you know. Right now, there's an 800. Look at the size of that bad boy. They got that for dredging, the Hudson River up here. I remember that was on rental, that was strapped down to a barge. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we got some one, two, three dozers. Let's make sure they're a 51 though. There's a 61 all the way to the left. That middle one looks like a, no, that's a 39. Come on. There's a 39. I think that one in the back's a 51. Let's see. 39, a 39, a 61. That thing's a monster. Let's see what the one in back here is. Oh, yeah. It's a 51, but it's an EX. The difference between the EX and a PX is the EX is standard width track, not the LGP, which is that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the wide track, like how that one. This one is a, uh, see the EX there, standard. And then you got the PX, which is wide. That's the difference. That's the only difference on the the px the ex but the body on this will be the same this is brand new ski i just wanted to eye it up to see how big it was to my head but man this thing is a big dozer so what i was going at was telling you guys why the nose is so nice and slanted is because of this right here they got the radiator all in the back that's an awesome design awesome design it keeps it cleaner a but it gives you that visibility in the front it allows this whole nose to drop right off i mean this nose is down here normally this it would be way up here you know and you see the slant on the stack because it lines right up with our uh with our window so this is the size that i'm looking at big dozer for me anyways but it will do a lot more pushing than that new holland would but big dozer big parts big money so we are searching but i've been looking at a couple 51s and uh like i said i was into the 39 for a good couple weeks or i've always wanted the 39 put it that way but i've been looking at them for a couple weeks um, which like I said, this will do what it needs to do for me too. So I'm kind of mind boggled here. Um, if I go with the 39, I'll go with the, the 20, the PX 23 instead of the 22, which is the newer one with the dash that we were just in. Um, but yeah, we will find out. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy. No comparison to any other make. I mean, the windows, just the way they open, look, they got locks up here. And then, look at that, just like a, just like a house. Just like a house, it's airtight, seals everywhere. You could yell in here, you don't hear no echoing. 
just everything is unbelievable. It's like a Cadillac. It smells beautiful in here too. It's because it's brand new, it has zero hours on it, probably just from what it tracked over here. But uh, these are latches for the doors. But yeah, obviously the one I buy is not going to be new, but it will be a Kamatsu and it will be nice. Um, I'm sure I'll have to go through it and all that. But, but just wanted to put my hands on a 51 to see if that was the size I'm going to get. But man, that's a big one. Woo hee! All right, guys, so check it out. Just left that Komatsu dealership. That was a great company. I mean, Komatsu's got awesome support. Um, just talked with the service manager and the uh, parts guys because I deal, you know, I got the 88 Komatsu and I've owned the, I owned Komatsu in the past too. Um, and I got the Hydrema, which is also their dealership. Uh, so this was going over some things with that 51 versus the 39 and you know what i mean i'm definitely gonna go with the 51 because it's just it's still a finished grade dozer but it's enough to push out retention ponds push out i mean it's the size of a jd 700 or um or a d6 cat so definitely the size i'm looking for and uh I'm working my deal as we speak with the guy in PA, and I know Dale, you're out in PA. Uh, this dozer's out in Ever uh, PA. Don't know. I know it's out. You said you were out um, in Western PA, so I, I think it's somewhere out by there. Uh, it was about six hours from me, and uh, I w I'm not gonna go out and take a look at it. The guy sent me multiple videos of it operating, pushing trees, and really digging it in the ground and, and, and putting the dozer to work and uh, show me all the things. So I'm confident, sight unseen. Uh, never really, I've done that once before. Actually, you know what? I've probably never done that before. I know Dirt Perfect buys them like that, but like he says, I'm willing to buy it, someone else is willing to buy it. So, you know, worst case scenario, one of those deals, if it's not what I think when it, or it is, uh, you know, something that I don't want when it comes, uh, we could always just sell it for the same money or even make money, whatever. But um, that's where I'm at on that. Uh, just going to get some lunch now because I am so dark. Yeah, so Komatsu by far, I mean by far superior on that same class. I mean, probably in all the classes versus anybody else. It's just the dozer is unbelievable uh, as far as comfort, luxury, uh, you know, you got your three things, your comfort, your performance, and, and maintenance, how it's done. They got tracks on those things that are called, that are actually self-turning bushings and pins. They just constantly rotate, so they do not wear out. You don't have to get them turned, you know what I mean? They So you get 7,000 hours out of a set of tracks. You run them right to zero, unbelievable. That's that's huge in my eyes, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens and uh, stay tuned. I appreciate it. What do we got here? All right, my people, we got a Komatsu D51 PX22. It's branded already. A little air bubble in there. So, like I said, I got this out of PA, very happy with it, sight unseen, and uh, it was just, it was everything that the guy said it was, so all the flaws, all the goods, all the bads, you know, blah, 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 but uh, mechanically, I, it, it's great, didn't really use it yet, just little things here and there, uh, so let's take a peek at it, undercarriage is all new, all rollers, all everything, everything, perfect. Uh, track pads probably 65%, but uh, everything else is new under there. Uh, got all, everything locks, works. Hydraulic compartment here. I'll tell you, the Komatsu has got is really set up for the user friendly. It makes an operator out of you just running it. But what's really awesome is this fan. This fan's electric fan, so it only goes as fast as it needs to go. And this thing, two bolts, and it, this thing comes up. 
and you can clean everything so easy. I'll show you that in a bit after I shut it off. Hydraulic compartment, filter here. Uh, that would be your antifreeze. And that's where you fill the hydraulic, fill the uh, fuel right there. Got a nice panel plate. Obviously, everything's gonna get touched up because you know me, I'll uh, be touching all these little yellow spots up. Two new batteries, got the fuse box there. And it is wired for, uh, it is wired for GPS. There's wires up there to GPS. And then uh, holes sit here, and then they plug into here, which is awesome. Comfortable steps, a lot of grab rails to get up. There's the motor. This panel, I'll repaint that one panel. There's my logo, it's gonna go on this side here. Uh, everything uh, shuts nice, seals nice, got nice lights up there, exhaust. Inside. the feet off I gave it a ah, turn the radio down I gave it a one two real quick uh, let me shut her down so you could hear me I gave it a one two real quick wipe over got a nice mirror here's where the GPS plugs in then it mounts right here so you can see it everything is nice seats in good shape air ride seat you just hit this and it Brings air up or down like a dump truck. Uh, lumbar air. And it also has air ride. This whole cab is on an air suspension. But unbelievable controls. Everything's so easy. And like I said before in the video, look, you don't see the stack because it's offset. You can see perfect blade visibility. AC, heat, defroster there. And then you got some other defroster gig stuff all here haven't really gone through the manuals yet got to clean the headliner i didn't clean that yet um all your wipers there it is missing one wiper here which he did tell me that which isn't a big deal but yeah happy with it so far and you know me i'm gonna be touching up i'll paint the back of this blade these all these things come off everything that comes off with bolts i'll take and paint touch up the whole c-frame She'll be looking pretty. Um, blades really straight in good shape. Probably put a new cutting ends on them. But yeah, I'm real pumped up. Now that that's off, let me show you on uh, the back here. So basically, this just lifts up. And it's got, hang on, it's a little heavy for me. One-handed. Hang on one second. Once it locks, it locks. So there she is there. Look at that, how you could clean that. Come on, guys, you know it. Deer ain't got this. Look at that. I just washed the radio, uh, radiator out a minute because you know it gets dusty. And what's nice about this is it's an electric fan, so it only goes on when it needs to go on. It doesn't, it doesn't hum, you know, like the other one, so. And uh, yeah. I'm pumped, can't wait to use it. So like I said, the undercarriage have uh, bushings that turn as they go, so you never have to rotate your bushings. Unbelievable, you get 7,000 hours out of them. That's a huge plus for Komatsu. And it's got a whole special gizmo here that's different than the rest. It's all rides on vibration. It's got things in here, I, I don't know yet. I, I don't know the detailed name, but I will be touching everything up and uh, She'll look brand new once I get everything touched up the way I want it, you know. Couple other updates on the Kenworth, as you can see. Look at those stacks, huh? Got the chops on the side of the mirrors. Got everything polished. I had a uh, local guy polish all my aluminum. Polish all the wheels. Got the chops going. Eight inch stacks. And look at that shine. Got the diamond plate here. Tread bright. All the way for the rock guards. And this is shinier than before because what I do, I had it wet sanded and, and uh, recoated. I just wanted the sides to be extra special. 
So this is all uh, like a mirror, as you can see. And the back is gonna get the logo, the big logo in the back, like my uh, box truck. I got the diamond plate rock guard there too. Uh, this will get the logo this week. And then I was gonna logo the sides, but they came out so dang nice. I, I don't wanna cover them. So I, I, I'm gonna just do the back for now and see what it looks like. But uh, yeah, everything is awesome. And then I got uh, a strip going here with a couple things on it. My name going on the door. But yeah, I'm psyched, psyched. The main thing is everything's straight to, well, obviously the mechanical's the main thing, but all your radiator things, I mean, tons of machines, even brand new ones, they're always dented from trees and whatnot, backing into them, you know? But all the, everything is just, you know, a little touch up and she's gonna be good. I'll have to be taking all these handles off, painting them up, everything that could be disassembled and painted. Uh, in there, you can see the air ride. See them shocks here, this whole cab goes up and down. It's a piece of foam that goes right here that I'll have to get to. All right, just inside, letting it warm up. Got a nice big mirror. Um, big cup holders, regular cup, and then for big Gatorades. It's put together super nice. Like I said, these windows, you know, they got locks here, and they slide open, and nothing rattles. You know what I mean? There's nothing. Everything is so robust. It's really put together nice. The cab is super quiet uh just unbelievable how quiet it is in here the machine's running you know and it doesn't vibrate because it a uh, the air ride cab it's just one in its class i'll tell you that you remember that john deere had that huge stack here i mean you wouldn't even see the crusher run out here unbelievable and then you got your blade corners like nothing you know
it's uh real touchy you don't it, this thing don't you don't feel it like when you dig in with like the other little guys this thing is awesome so i am pumped uh so yeah i'm gonna finish this up get this driveway graded obviously we need crusher on here we're just filling in the potholes it's gonna freeze this week and uh it is what it is <laughs> I'll give you a finish at the end. I gotta 